Hey, it's Bill Morgan here. I stopped here in Patchogue, Long Island, on uh, Cedar Avenue to show you this house that's been raised. I'm going to the back of the home right now, so you get a better look. You can see the uh, the concrete the company has been in and already put in a nice footing. The, the, the concrete that was here before Hurricane Sandy was a cement block foundation, and uh, it did, didn't handle the water pressure very well. So uh, that foundation uh, had to be replaced. So the homeowner opted to, rather than just replace the foundation, he uh, would say he's going to raise this house 11 feet. Now, 11 feet is a little bit higher than usual for this area, but this homeowner is opting to do is put a garage underneath the home. So he can park his car underneath the house. And in order to uh, offset the water pressure, they're going to have a garage door in the front, and they're going to put another door here in the back, so that uh, if their flood would were to come, or when the next flood does come, all they'd have to do is open up the garage door in the front, open up the door in the back, and the water would just flow through, not exerting any pressure on the foundation whatsoever. Naturally, the car would be moved and be out of here. Where a lot of homes just go up on pilings or poles or casings, this home is going to be up on a cement foundation, 11 feet, uh, just last week, this home was raised. Now, before a house can be raised, all the uh, electric has to be disconnected. Local has to come and disconnect it from the, uh, the line, the service. The uh, licensed electrician must come in and disconnect everything that could be attached to the basement. A licensed plumber must come in and disconnect all the plumbing. And you can see some of these pipes right here have been cut so the steel beams can be put through. Then finally, the house mover can come they put in this cribbing, this uh, wood that you see here is called cribbing. They jack up the house, actually they jack it up 12 to 14 inches at a time, build in some cribbing, then move their jacks and do it again, and they keep doing that until they get that proper height. You can see here, uh, there's been a, they've utilized the cement underneath some of the cribbing. That must have been the, uh, the foundation floor at one time. But where there, where there wasn't any foundation floor, they put in steel plates. And I can zoom in here and show you a steel plate that's in the ground here. You see, that's a steel plate. There's a nice steel plate underneath the cribbing where it's not on a nice solid ground. They put in steel plates to uh, hold the weight of these, uh, this cribbing that's holding the house up. 